Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be updating the firmware on my DJI Spark remote control. When updating the firmware on your DJI Spark, it's pretty simple. There's the DJI um, Assistant 2 software on your laptop or PC. You connect a cable and we can do the update that way. However, it seems you cannot connect the remote control directly to the DJI Assistant 2 software and update it that way. It seems this has to be updated via your mobile device. Well, that's what I found and there seems to be some confusion re regarding that. Now, let's go ahead and I'll show you how I am going to be updating. Now I'm going to take my Spark one side and I'm going to bring these two into view to show you what you need to do, or what I'm going to do anyway. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start up my DJI Go application. Now I have not even connected the remote control yet. And already it, it's telling me the remote controller software or the firmware needs to be updated. So we click there and it tells us which firmware version is now available. It's small, it's only seven megabytes. So we click download now. Now it tells you, um, now it gives you a short rundown of what the update does. And we click, now obviously before we, this is going to work, if we click start to update now, it's going to tell us to connect the remote controller and confirm that your battery level is over 30%. So the next thing we do is we start up our controller. Now, because I've got four lights, it means my battery is full. Now, once that light goes red, it should be ready to be able to connect to your mobile device. Now, I am going to confirm that by going to my settings and then going to my Wi-Fi and confirming that I am connected to the Spark. In this case, it's still connected to my private Wi-Fi connection. I'm going to select the Spark RC. I'm going to, going to tell it to connect there. Uh, originally, I was connected to my personal Wi-Fi connection because that has internet connection and I wanted to download the firmware. Now that we are connected to the Spark RC Wi-Fi, we can return back to DJI Go 4 application. Now we can update. Right, it's going to start beeping. Now note that the light has gone green. The light will go off. Notice also that the middle two lights on the battery charge connection shows only two lights. Right, four lights will come on. It's still green now again. That green light goes on and off a couple of times. We have progress of 53%. Now, this beeping is quite normal. Do not get alarmed. Progress is at 83% now. So this carries on for quite a while. I'm guessing this whole process will take you if, you if you rush through it and you know this procedure, maybe two minutes, three minutes at, at tops. So the beeping is quite insistent. <laughs> It'll drive you. And there we go. There's a final beep. That's a long beep. And that light will turn back to red. And it says, update complete. Please manually restart your remote controller. We click OK. And we click on complete at the bottom. Switch off your remote control. And switch it back on. OK. You're going to give the light a little bit of time. 
because now we are going to reconnect it to our mobile device. It's a little scanning, and there the Spark RC appears again. Connect to that. It's connecting. Connected. And we can go back to our DJI Go 4 application. And version checking will now say latest version. Now we have not connected to the Spark yet, just to the remote control. I'm not going to start up my Spark indoors with the propellers on. Let's just take them off quickly. Okay. And the last ones. Right, I've got all the propellers disconnected. I'm going to start up my Spark. Now the Spark firmware has already been updated to the latest version. Okay, and once that light turns green, it's going to come up with another version check. Now since this is at the latest version, it should say latest version. And there you go. If that does not say latest version, then your Spark might be out of date. So we are ready to go fly. And there we go. All ready. Now obviously, satellite positioning, I'm indoors, so the satellite positioning will be off. Here's the bunch of propellers all removed. Everything is happy. And that is how I update my remote control for my DJI Spark. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe below.